Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I wanted to talk a little, little bit about what happens when you start to get movement and then movement stops and you freak out and then you spiral down. And then maybe you get more movement, maybe you don't. But if you do get more movement, it's very hot and cold back and forth, okay? Before I get into this video, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're loving my content. And if you need help, feel free to email me at kim at coreunion.com with a very short paragraph brief description about what you're manifesting. I actually am focusing solely on specific person and financial abundance at this point. So if it's anything outside of that, you can still email me. If I feel like it's a good fit, I will respond back. But right now that is what I'm choosing to focus my teaching on. So a common thing that happens is people will experience something with someone that they were in a relationship with. And there was something different about this particular person. Something resonated much deeper than ever before. Usually it's around three months that there was kind of this beautiful, it's called bubble love. Then all of your insecurities started to come up. Then you started to see changes in them. And then before you know it, bam, everything just kind of blows up. Now, all of a sudden, you start to research things and you find information, and some of you guys ended up learning about the law of assumption in this way. What ends up happening often is that you will start to watch YouTube videos, and you're looking for a quick fix. So you are going to be manifesting now videos and information to give you a quick fix. What happens with a lot of people is some people do not have a deep, big, painful story. Some people, it's really simple because it's not a big, big, big deal to them or to whatever. Like they don't have a super deep trauma or, or issue that they need to heal from their past, right? They don't have a ton of baggage necessarily, or maybe they do, but they don't have a deep story about this particular person and them and how the two of you guys mixed together. In those cases, the person may apply, you know, whatever they're watching on from a YouTube video and it resonates and it feels good and they apply it and then they get results super fast. What happens with other people though, is if there was some sort of an experience and this does not have to be something that takes a long time and you don't have to go looking for problems to heal either. But some of us have trauma from childhood growing up that we carried through our life and that we literally went into relationship after relationship after relationship with this baggage and we didn't realize it. And then as we get to a certain place in our life that we're ready for that one, the love of our life, that person will come in and it's going to like really strike us and hit us really hard. And we're going to know there's something different about this. In those cases, even you try to apply very shallow and superficial affirmations. And in some cases, you will get movement or the person might literally come back into your life, but then they literally, it, it all just kind of blows up again. And who knows what the circumstances, it doesn't matter. Circumstances literally never matter. What happened here is that if you imagine you were saying superficial, shallow, affirmations, right? But there's, this is just surface level, but there was deeper stuff going on from those traumas from your past. You didn't address these things. So in other words, if something deep down is still going on within you and a fear, and you didn't bother addressing that, and you were just doing superficial affirmations and they came back, when they came back, you most likely started to, the little old story that you brought into it to begin with, most likely started to bubble up within you. And so then they have to, literally, they are your perfect mirror. They're your mirror soul. So they have to respond to that too. There is no, there's nothing that's going to go, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not, you know, let's not do this because he or she is already hurting. They're already emotionally like in distress. So let's take it easy. It's not like that. I'm sorry. You are going to continually get 
reflections of all of you, not just what you want on the surface. Okay. So if this is what your experience has been, if you're getting hot and cold, you are wavering. What I mean by that is you are probably, they're coming back and there's something within you that's still afraid for whatever reason. And it could be a number of things. It could be on a few different levels. But when you start to get scared again or nervous again, they are going to also, it's that's going they're going to feel it. And then they're going to have to mirror that to you. And you're not going to like how it feels. You're not going to like the experience. Okay. So the best thing that you can do is really, really, really be focused and disciplined with yourself and do the inner work truly. If I tell you to be focused and disciplined and to stay on a very strict mental diet, which means that when you start to waver and you find yourself either thinking or feeling something that is outside of the end of you guys being in a happy relationship, this is your job to stop yourself and handle it. I like to say, handle your dark. You handle it, and then you get back in your end ASAP. Handling it, I see it as three levels. The first level is not so bad. The first level, you see it, and you catch yourself really quickly. You do some affirmations, and you can book an appointment with me if you want a session, and I can help you with affirmations. And you do that, and then you feel really good, and you go on about your day, and you get back in your end, and maybe you do some affirmations about your end, and you feel good. You literally feel really good. It's it's a genuine feeling of feeling good. You're not faking it feeling good. You can't fake anything with this. That's That's a level one trigger. Level two trigger, from my perspective, is that you get triggered, you try to catch it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but you try to do some, you know, you do some inner work and some affirmations around it. It still doesn't feel good. You can't stuff it down and move on. If you do that, you are literally neglecting the inner part of yourself that needs love right now. And if you do that, you're just keeping the wound alive. So the level two trigger would be that you try, you attempt at doing the, you know, the level one, and you still feel like, oof, I still, I still feel agitated. Now you need to show up for yourself. The way you want the person to show up for you, you need to do that for yourself. So you give yourself, you, you literally tell yourself that you are more than worthy and more than good enough of having everything that you deserve in life, that you're worthy and good enough of having love, that you matter, that you're important, that you're proud of yourself, that you are your number one priority. And stuff like that, I can help you with that too. Then the feeling dissipates. You go on about your day, you have an amazing day, you have fun, you treat yourself good, and you go back in your end as soon as possible with your person. Okay, that's great. Now here's the level three trigger. The level three triggers, you try step one, step two, you're still super, super agitated. You're in a spiral and you guys know how that feels. This is really like, this is level 10. Okay. You feel bad. In those cases, what I do is I try to go through step one, step two, it doesn't work. I really pay attention. And maybe I have a memory of something that happened from my past, maybe just with an ex, maybe with my father, who knows, could be with a boss, could be with an employee, who knows if it's an experience that I had around somebody just betraying me or treating me poorly or not respecting my boundaries, any, who, who knows what it is, but whatever the memory is now, okay, now I do some inner work around that. And I'm, I might do some ho'oponopono around it, or I might literally just let the person come in and tell them that they are really sorry. And they, I have them ask me for forgiveness. I have them ask me to forgive them and to please release them and let this go so I can enjoy my life. I have them say that to me and then I do the inner work with them and I forgive them. And then I might take it another step and I might actually intentionally try to remember good, positive things about that person and about the relationship I had with them. I did that with my father, for example. Okay. So that's how I deal with spirals and triggers. And it's very effective. 
And then again, I get back in my end ASAP with my honey, with my baby, with my Marisol Hana. So if you guys need help with this, you can email me at Kim at coreunion.com. You can book either single sessions or a package. Packages make it much more affordable. But you cannot say that you're doing the inner work if you sit there and you get triggered and you spiral and then you start checking the 3D for validation and then you start checking social media, for example, or you're constantly checking your phone or you're checking everything to see, have you heard from them yet? And if you want to say, well, I've seen videos where it says I can check social media all I want. Okay, here's the truth. You can check social media all you want if you don't get triggered by it. If you don't allow things in your 3D reality to trigger you and throw you off and you don't get triggered, don't worry about it. Do everything. Go against all the rules. My guess is if you're watching these videos on YouTube, you are not in a happy, healthy, stable, secure relationship. So you're probably not in a space where you're able to be strong enough to be able to see things on social media that you may not want to see, and they are triggering you. And when you do that, you are just calling, you're causing yourself delays, okay? You are doing this to yourself. So stop doing it to yourself, okay? Love yourself. Treat yourself better than that. I love you guys so much. I hope that this video helps. Comment down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come between us.